The time has finally come. It is time to decorate for Christmas. It is November 1st. You guys will be watching this on November 2nd. So happy November. I just got all the Christmas stuff out. I'm so excited to decorate. I just finished up my work for the day and we're in full decorate the house for Christmas mode. Dylan actually put the tree up for me last night when he got home from work. So on Halloween night, we always set the tree up, but I haven't decorated it or anything yet. I got a ton of new Christmas decor in, so I thought it would be fun since I'm filming this so early to link a bunch of the new stuff. I went crazy on McGee & Co. Target has some really good stuff. And then um, hopefully I can link some of my stuff from previous years. I feel like Christmas stuff is so, you just like collect it over the years. Every year I get a few new things. And it kind of just becomes like a fun collection. I really love like collecting ornaments that mean something to Dylan and I and our family and things we love and things like that. So I'm excited to share with you guys and just like kind of decorate with y'all. Today I want to make a little simmer pot on the stove. I just got this new little clear pot in. So I thought we would start with that. Get the house smelling nice, play some Christmas music, decorate the tree, have the dogs here. Dylan's at work so we can't be a part of it, but I just like cannot wait any longer. I love the holidays. Christmas is my favorite season. We always decorate the house early because my family comes to our house for Thanksgiving and I like them to be able to see like our decor and stuff. Um, and we're never home on Christmas day. So we like to enjoy our decor as much and as long as we can. Christmas stuff is not cheap and I feel like it's fun to put it up. It just kind of means like the holidays are here and we love it. So. Anyways, I'm gonna make my little simmer pot and then we'll do a little mini haul. And then I think we're gonna start with the tree. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you're not already, don't forget to subscribe. Follow me on Instagram, I always have everything linked below, but Christmas time's here. I also have gift guides up, they're officially up. I'm like on top of it this year. I'm really excited about the holidays, clearly. Um, so I made gift guides for, I did um, gifts under $50 and then like stocking stuff for gifts. I did gifts under 100. I did gifts for him, which basically just means like dad, boyfriend, father-in-law, brother, like whoever is a guy that you're buying for. It kind of covers it all under one list. I did gifts for mom, gifts for her. I think that that's maybe it, but I touched on a lot. So I also did a list of Christmas pajamas that I really love this season and then advent calendars that I thought could be fun to do for the holidays. So all that is linked on my shop. I'll put it linked down below for you guys. You can check out the gift guides and I'm gonna put them on a highlight on my Instagram. So you guys will be able to just reference it for the next two months of gift shopping. So anyways, let's go ahead and get into decorating. I'm so excited. I've been waiting to do this for like two weeks. Here's everything that I have for, I think these are called simmer pots. I did one last week, but I thought I would vlog it and share with you guys because I got a lot of questions about it on my Instagram. And it was so funny because I did this and then I saw that Lauren um, from Skinny Confidential posted her like little recipe and she linked this clear pot. And I thought this was the cutest thing. So I ordered it, it actually just came today and I'm so excited to use it. I love how it's clear. You'll be able to like see the colors and normally just do it in this, but this is so big. It requires like filling up a bunch of water but basically you just simmer this on low obviously while you're home turn it off when you leave but you can keep it on your stove up to like a week and you just keep adding water and it just makes the house smell so nice so what i'm going to do today you can add other things i like to do cranberries and lemon when it gets closer to christmas but i couldn't find any cranberries at the store so i'm going to do orange slices apple you can do cinnamon or pumpkin spice i'll probably do cinnamon today cinnamon sticks and then whole cloves and then i'm going to do a little splash of apple cider in there and then you just add water and it just smells up the house so nicely I saved a little side snack for myself i'm obsessed with apples and oranges and the whole foods peanut butter is so good with apples like two cinnamon sticks um bunch of cinnamon and then that it already smells so good cloves a little more <laughs> this is just like a concentrate so it's thicker than normal it's the williams sonoma one and it's oh it's so good get this for the holidays if you want to like be bougie and splurge i saw it at the checkout when i was there and it was so good for thanksgiving this would be really good with like champagne or um like vodka as a mule and you just add like a little splash of that in there you just add water and you let it literally just simmer on low on the stove how cute i'm obsessed with this clear one i'm gonna do a little bit more water gonna 
give it a little stir here. Here it is, thought I would show you guys. It's so cute on the stove. So this is gonna go for the next few hours. I'll probably refill it with water tomorrow, keep it on the stove for the rest of the week, like into the weekend, because today's already Wednesday, but so cute. This is kind of what the house looks like right now. I've took everything out of the boxes, mess over here, but I have the tree up. I just need to like fluff it and fix it, but I'm so excited. I have all like the little knick-knacky things out and then some new ornaments and things that I got. I placed a big order from McGee & Co, like I said. Like I got this new bow tree topper, which I think is so cute. Um, these trees right here, I thought would be pretty for the open shelves in the kitchen. I got this, which I think might be one of my new <laughs> favorite Christmas items in the house. I just think it's so cute. I got a bunch of ribbon, some plain balls. I also got some wrapping. I feel like good wrapping always is gone like right away. So picked up some wrapping from her. I got these here, which I thought would be fun for the tree. They just clip onto the end of the branch and they light up like little candles. Um, I also picked up some random ornaments. I was so like set on just like the monochrome ornaments and yes, it's so pretty, but I feel like Lately, we love doing ornaments that are meaningful. I can't remember who got this for us, but I unboxed it and it like immediately made me smile. And I'm like, this is why I love doing meaningful ornaments. Like how cute is that for the tree? I also posted this on my Instagram story and everyone was like freaking out like that is a so you ornament. And it's in Aperol Spritz. They literally got it down to the orange slice and the striped straw. It's like five bucks from Target. A shrimp cocktail one, I thought it was funny. It's like my favorite food. And then I got Dylan's favorite drink, which is an old fashioned. So those are just some cute little ornaments I picked up from Target. I recently got this George ornament, which I thought was fun. We didn't have a George ornament for the tree. Disney ornament last year when we went to Disney with Dylan's family, which I thought was fun. These are just some random new ones. We also got a Yellowstone ornament when we went with Lily and Andy. So I'm excited to put that on the tree. These four, um, what are these called? Snowmen are all from Crate and Barrel. They sell them again this year. So if you guys like them, check them out they're like i feel like classic and really cute for the holidays but still neutral and then all of the random gray trees are from target and then like i said those are from mcgee and co i also got this ornament from crate and barrel i thought it kind of looked like rue the little spots it just made me laugh so i picked this up and then i haven't decorated the shelves yet but i had dylan hang this last night and this might be my new like favorite christmas piece in the house um it is from McGee & Co as well, and I think it's just like the most stunning wreath, and I was surprised, but I really loved the color in it. I've been really into like this dark maroon, like reddish color. This one looks so real, and it's so, so pretty. It'd be pretty for the front door too. I'm hoping that it's still available, and I will link it for you guys. I haven't decorated any of this yet. I love decorating the open shelves for the holidays, so we'll get into that later, but I just wanted to show you guys this wreath. It's so stunning. Other random stuff, some trees that I took out and I just fluffed. We have three of these here. I started clearing this off, but I'm just like trying to figure out where to put stuff. Last year at the end of the season, Jenny Kane sent over their linen stockings and we normally did these big cable knit ones from Crate and Bra, but I think I'm gonna do these linen ones this year. They sent over four, so one for the, each of the dogs and then me and Dylan, and then they also sent over a tree skirt. So I'm excited to switch it up this year and use these. I think that they sell these on their website. It's just the linen stocking and ivory and then the linen tree skirt and ivory. So I will link all of this stuff for you guys. Here's the tree. I bought this tree last year and I'm so obsessed with it. From Crate and Barrel, I got it last year and it looks so real. Like it looks like I literally just went to our backyard and picked out a tree. I like how sparse it is because the ornaments can like lay and hang really nicely. You guys will see when I start decorating it, but I kind of started fluffing it last night. I need to fix a few spots. So excited to have the tree back up. I love this tree so much. Definitely worth the splurge. It's pre-lit, which is really nice, and it's super easy to set up. I just keep all of our ornaments in here. I do a bunch of like beaded garlands, so I have it all packaged up in like Ziplocs, and then some of the ornaments. I'm so excited to go through these because I got a lot of new ones last year like we got this one for nashville how cute is this i was actually thinking about it and i was like wait this is the first year for christmas that we get to decorate the same space so um for the past what has it been three christmases we've always lived in a different house and so i've always like had to change things around and move things around so this year we're just like adding to what i already like had set up but i think i'm gonna try to change some things around because i do like a good old change up. So we're gonna start with the tree and the mantle. Rue. <laughs> 
So this is the tree and these are the ornaments and you cannot eat them, okay? How about you go sit with Winnie, your sister? Go. These are not toys. They're not toys for you. I know, it's so crazy. And it's also not dinner time. <laughs> you still have um, almost three hours until dinner. Go. You have to give me some space. Go. Cutest boot that I got for like our Nashville ornament. We always try to get ornaments from places we've been or places we live. So we got that one. I'm obsessed with this ornament. This is where we got married, Rosemary Beach. I got this the year of our wedding. So it says 2022. It's so pretty. And then another one of my favorite little hacks for trees is to do, well, one garland. I get all this kind of stuff from, I think these are all from Target or Crate and Barrel. I feel like the beads take up space on a tree and you don't have to put as many ornaments. So you just like string them along the tree. Um, and then where are all my ribbons? Doing ribbons. So if you buy a bunch of pretty ribbon, like colors of what your decor is, you can hang them on the ends of the branches and it's just like really pretty. I got this bow tree topper this year. I thought it was cute, but last year, this is what my tree topper was, just this bow. So maybe I can almost like layer these this year but yeah lots of cute ornaments we also got this oh my god there's <laughs> this is so funny there's bite marks over this and i remember last year rue was still pretty much a puppy she wasn't full grown yet and she took this ornament off of the tree it's like the only one she ever took off we got this in hawaii when dylan played in hawaii and we went for the week and there's like bite marks all over it from rue but she <laughs> didn't bite it enough to break it which i'm surprised but she just like wanted it. She just like wanted the guitar. 2020, this little paw, it's not Winnie's paw, it's just from Target, I think, but this is the year we got Winnie. It was her first Christmas. So cute. This one from Vail, which we got when me, Emily, and Dylan went skiing in Vail, which was so fun. We're gonna start decorating, and well, first I'm gonna cut all of the tags off of like all of these new ones. I'm gonna start at the top of the tree and then work my way down with the bead garland. I'm gonna do the topper, the bead garland, and then I'm gonna fill in with ornaments and ribbon. I think it's gonna be the game plan. <laughs> topper, hopefully I don't fall off of this ladder. I should probably take these slippers off. Topper is on. <laughs> now we're gonna start with the beads. Whenever I do these, I just drape them from the front and then I leave the back because unless your tree is in like the middle of a room, no one is going to see the back of your tree. I feel in like the sides, but the back, I just like, I don't even touch it. If I fall off of this ladder and no one's home, this will be so bad. been hours I can explain I'm still decorating the tree I actually like just kind of started I started from the top the top's basically done and we're making our way down I need to buy one more bead of garland for the very bottom so I'm kind of leaving the bottom not decorated but I put the tree square on it's so cute and I'm gonna do the mantle next I just have a few more ornaments to fill in but I sat down to make so I made all my gift guides yesterday but I wanted to post them to my stories to do like little graphics and I sat down to make them all and it takes so long anyways I just finished up that posted all that to my story talked on the phone for a little bit for some work stuff ordered some uber eats for dinner and now we're back to decorating still decorating the tree there's so many cute ornaments I love pulling them out of the box and just like seeing what I have from last year like these little ballet slippers, I don't know if you can see them, so cute. I used to do dance growing up. I used to be really big into dance actually, so that's like a little meaningful ornament. We have so many wedding and engagement ornaments. This A um, was done by the gal who did like our um, drawings on the open shelves in the kitchen. She like hand painted these A's all over this ornament, so cute. This is the mess I've created, so we're not <laughs> done yet, but um, Aperol front and center, obviously cute here is the tree skirt from jenny kane i think that you're supposed to put this part in the back but honestly i really liked it in the front so i need to just like pull it out a little bit but i am obsessed with it again the bottom of the tree is not done but we're getting there i like forget how long it actually takes to like actually decorate a tree just a few more 
to go. This is the closest little ornament I could find to what Winnie looks like. I mean, I know it's not identical, but it's still cute, you know? Last ornament, and then I'm gonna stop talking about this <laughs> dumb tree, but I remember last year I made these and I got them as gifts for our parents for their trees too, and I got one for ours, obviously. It was our first Christmas card. I feel like this is such a smart thing to do if you want to keep up with your Christmas cards, but you don't want to like obviously keep the cards. Put it in an ornament. This one's from Shutterfly. And I just tied like a ribbon that matched our tree and it is so cute. This is what our Christmas card was last year. I'm obsessed with it. Okay, Rue, you're gonna have to stop munching on that. Okay, yeah, see, here's one of the command hooks. So I like hooked it. This isn't gonna be sticky anymore. But I had it to where it was like, Hey, Rue. Okay, so there's a hook right there, and then it was like this. I think it, I had it like this. No, it was like tighter. It was like, wait, will you hold that for, will you hold this like this so I can step back and see what it looks like? <laughs> You're gonna have to hold that too. Just set that down. Okay, um, yeah, I think that's cute. What do you think? I think so too. Is this how we had it? I don't think we need two though. I love that you can be a part of the decorating. <laughs> Me too. Okay, so what I think is... If oh, that's gonna... nice. No, because it's going to catch fire. It can't be that Oh, loud. now you're worried about fire hazards. I've always been worried. It's like we almost need one more nail right here. We have nails. Come on, I'm just going to take that one out. Wait, I have a picture of this on my Instagram from last year. I'm gonna look it up. We're trying to do the mantle. It's like 10 o'clock at night <laughs> and I'm forgetting how we did it. But last year I really liked it. Okay, this is how it was. Rude, See, baby. Like an Eskimo doll with the way your eyes are covered up. <laughs> I know, why does the hair on her face grow so quick? Um, we're not trying to get that nail out. I tried to get it out last with year. The, like, with a hammer? Yeah. <gasps> okay, this is what it looked like last year. Yeah, so it sat on top of it. And I think it's just one. Yeah, I agree. It's one with that on top of it. Yeah, so put that over top and I'll nail this where I need to. Like, <clears throat> what do you mean? It had a little swoop though. Like it had like a little like that. You like you want it right there? Yeah, that's perfect right there. Well, what are your thoughts? Looks good. <laughs> but yeah, that's cute. All right. Dylan, get in the vlog sometimes. People like to see you. You your turn to be in the camera. Go over there. <laughs> then what we do is this piece. This is, this is, these batteries on. Okay, so we need to put new batteries in it, but it goes like this. And it goes on top of, like this. So what we have to do is get like, oh wait, no, this was supposed to go on first. This has to go first. Like it has to go behind because see how this like wooden mm -hmm. branch is ugly. Mm -hmm. So we have to take this off. <laughs> Winnie is so scared of the ladder, babe. Look at Winnie. <laughs> Winnie, it's okay, love. I know it's scary. Decorating for Christmas is scary. I know. Oh, Are, you, shit. Are you doing something over there? <laughs> Babe, that's not straight. It needs some help. I just told Dylan I was glad he's not here when I do the tree because I'm a control freak about the tree. But we just put these little batteries in these light up candles and they're kind of cool. I mean, you can't really tell on camera. I feel like the tree looks prettier in person. What do you think? I agree. It looks so good. I love it. The next day we're back in Christmas mode. I got some exciting Christmas jammies delivered to the house today. So I figured I would show you guys how fitting for the video. I also got restocks of my literal favorite candle. The holiday candles from Nest are the best. This is the Birchwood Pine and the holiday. I've talked about them like so many times. So I'm gonna link these below. And then the pajamas, these are both from Everjay. It's like recently become my new favorite. 
recently become my new favorite pajama brand. I got like three sets of their shorts for the summer and I've been living in them. So I wanted to pick up some holiday jammies. You guys know I live for this stuff. So I got, I wear size medium in their stuff. I got a flannel set and then this is like their really well-known soft fabric and I just thought the print was super cute. I got this pair off of Revolve and then this pair ordered right from their website, but I made on my shop my like a little Christmas pajama list. So I will link that below. I just cleared off these shelves. I want to wipe them down, make sure everything's clean. And then I pulled some Christmas stuff and then like some cups and stuff that I want to style these shelves with. So it's really fun having open shelves in the kitchen because it kind of gives me an area to do some decor in the house because we don't really have honestly a ton of places to set little like knickknack things. Like we don't have a ton of furniture to put that kind of stuff on just because we're in a townhome. There's not a ton of space. Hi. <laughs> so the open shelves are always really, really fun for me. So I got a bunch of stuff. This is just like a bunch of glassware. I love the, um, hearth and hand Ma magnolia collection from target these are always out on my counter but i feel like they're pretty and classic for the holidays too these are from our house i got them last year i'm obsessed with them i have two more i need to find where they're at these are crate and barrel and cb2 they're all like all need to be polished and cleaned i don't think all of these will fit up here but we're gonna see what looks best I got two of these um, little espresso cup things that I thought could be cute by the coffee bar. Little picture of Dylan and I. Here's our wedding venue. A ton of trees. We've got snowman books. I love decorating with neutral books. I got some new, just like neutral waffle knit towels to hang on the stove. I'm obsessed with this scent, the Frazier Fur. Smells so good. So I'm going to set that beside the sink with maybe a candle. We've got the simmer pot on. The house smells good. The house is chaotic. What I feel like whenever you're decorating for Christmas, this is just how the house looks. So I'm hoping that we finish the kitchen up today. I want to do this console table I want to style, but I'm trying to figure out what I did last year and I can't remember what I put on there. So I'm kind of like, I don't know what to put up there. And then I have another console table upstairs that I want to decorate. So we'll see how much we get done today. It's already kind of later in the day because I was filming a different video this morning and then also doing some work on the computer, but we're back in the holiday spirit and we are decorating this kitchen. I'm gonna wipe everything down first and then we're gonna get started with the styling of the shelves. champagne flute glasses so I put those up there that's where they went last year so I'm gonna leave them there and then I'm gonna start with putting well this painting I know I want to keep here because I just love it there so much okay so we'll start with that and then we're definitely gonna put these back up here because this is what Dylan uses for coffee and then when we have guests they always use this. I feel like I'm the only freak that doesn't always drink hot coffee in the morning but I do like these for my lemon water too so these I will keep out. I'm going to open these up. The espresso cup and saucer and set these over here too. I like the brown color. I feel like it goes well with the wreath. The only thing is I wish that the tile wasn't blue. I feel like it doesn't match anything, but we're just renting. So like, obviously I didn't pick it and I also can't change it, but it definitely could be worse. So, okay, cute. I have to always like step back and look to see if I like if I like it so far. This frame, I think I'm gonna put maybe on the top. I normally have it down here on the bottom, but. This could be cute, maybe. And then books. I always keep these books like out and I feel like it keeps your house like still neutral and pretty, but 
since they're all neutral books, it's still like holiday kind of. So these normally go these normally go up there, which I think still looks cute. And then these two normally go right here, just to add some books to the shelf. I'd say that's kind of like my base. And now I have to add like Christmas stuff, obviously. This is my favorite thing literally ever. I think I want to set it on these shelves. I was going to put it on the coffee table, but I think it could look cute right there. Then maybe some trees. Take a step back and look. Wait, I love it so much. But I think one of the green trees needs to go over here. or sometimes I'll like move it to a candle or I'll put like fresh flowers or something but I don't have any flowers right now. Got these really nice thick tea towels from White's Mercantile and I'm gonna put one right here to match just all the cream and then one on this dishwasher. Here's this side, we've got the books, some trees. I always like to pair things in like two or three. I never like to just like leave something by itself. I feel like this looks so cute. I love the colors, but I feel like it's still Christmassy. And then, and then this side we've got coffee cups, so it still like makes sense as like our little coffee bar. We've got the books. And then I have these trees and like a little squad of three. And then another one down here. So I think it's so cute. And I love how this turned out. I feel like open shelves kind of take me a while but I'm surprised that it all came together. I think it has to do with like the color of your decor and like the pieces that you have, but this looks so good. Just switched out the hand soap and put a fresh candle in a light. I'm so happy with how it turned out. It's always my favorite part to decorate these shelves and I think it looks so cute this year. Next task is this over here, which I'm struggling with. This is like what I have left for Christmas decor. Those um, white snowmen went on the open shelves last year. I used one of the wooden ones on the open shelf, the mini one, so I only have one left. Um, I've got a few little things here. I don't have as many books as I would like because I've used them around the house. Like I did the coffee table, which I'll show you guys. Also this, I bought last year at the end of the season and it holds all of your wrapping and like bows and stuff. It's such a game changer. I can link it for you guys and then ignore this. I'm still trying to do the garland, but they were out of AA batteries at Target today. So I'm gonna have to go find a different Target because I'm trying to still figure out the mantle you guys would have seen this last night dylan and i did the mantle i'm not like a hundred percent satisfied with it i think i want to take this down and like redo it but i'm waiting to get batteries because i want to see it lit up to see like what it looks like but i did hang our stockings from jenny k and i'm obsessed and then i did like this little bow and some 
what are these bells but i need to like fluff the bow and fix it a little bit so this isn't like here to stay but i do think it looks kind of cute we've got the coffee table which i kind of made a little bit christmasy i need to put a candle right here um but i put a little tree here that kind of ties into the kitchen and then this is like a little holiday box which i'm going to put like the remote and like a little lighter in but i use a lot of the books on the coffee table so i don't have a ton left for the console table because i have like a ton down here as well i want it to be cute because it's like obviously right when you walk in everyone sees this table i also really need to switch these pictures out to our wedding photos i cannot believe I have not printed out wedding photos yet. That's like on my to-do list for next week. But I'm going to play around with a few little things here. But I'm thinking I'm going to need to make a store run for a few more. Maybe like little knickknack pieces. I'm trying to think, should I do garland here? Like, I don't know what to do. Comment your guys' opinions below of like what you would do here on this table. It's really long and it requires like a lot of decor. But I don't want it to look like tacky or gaudy or like overdone. I just want it to be like simple and pretty. at this i know it kind of looks a little plain but i think it kind of maybe like it i would love to add a few more books so we're gonna leave it at this for now the um, snowmen are so cute they're from crate and barrel last year but i saw them again in store this year so they brought them back and they're like the cutest i feel like these would be really cute in a bathroom as well mm -hmm. 